Feels bad. All right. You know what, Pastor? I said we we're gonna hit, get you to hit legend, but that's not happening. I think maybe we can get me to legend at this point. Yeah, that's what I said at the start of my stream. Let's watch you then. Okay, fine. If I have the to win a hundred games, Chad. I know this is the most boring part of the stream, winning, but you're probably gonna lose because I like. There's just too many rogues on the ladder. I gotta do what I gotta do. Ha! <laughs> this guy's toast. Maybe it's the it's the hand controlling it. Do you believe in oh. uh, superstition? No. Well. Do you? I do. I believe some people are born more lucky than others. Uh, that's kind of true. Actually. Look how I didn't queue into that's an aggro deck. Actually, it might be token draw deck. <laughs> Let me let me get back to you on that. Do you believe in ghosts? Uh, I remember seeing a ghost as I was as when I was a child, but rationally, I know it can't be a ghost. Really? Rationally, I have no ghost experiences. All right, show me how it's done. Wait, that's not fair. You get a oh wow, you get a druid. Because I'm at rank one, where the you know. The. This is not fair. The try-hard decks are. I mean, he might be token. No, you don't know. Why can't I have like... Oh, he's still in that part. RNG. Man, is he hero powers here? Oh, he's gonna wild glow. Yeah. See, I'm never lucky. Oh my god. Oh, he's gonna top... Oh, oh no, it's actually... He's aggro. Hmm, that's very Monka. I'm still playing novice. Yeah, no reason to rush out the uh, co light. Yeah, oh, Lord. Wait, he has power of the wild. He did full mulligan, I suppose. We just got unlucky. Or he might be one of those weird hybrids. Those mud bloods. Where is this guy's toast? Don't you ever get hungry on stream? Yeah, I, I eat, eat on stream. Time. But people, I don't know whether or not to chew into the mic or chew away from the mic because I know some people like to listen to me chew. Wait, can you hear me chewing? Yes, I can. It sounds crunchy and wet. <laughs> Damn, that's annoying. He's gonna go for buff. That's yeah, pretty rough, especially if he has the second one. What are you doing? What was that? Tr yeah, why didn't you just go face? That's so bad. Uh, you. This is so. Uh, Archaeologist. Ice Barry doesn't do anything. Arcanol just does contest, but we are saving coin for Blizzard most likely, right? Yeah, I like Arcanol just. An it's actually so much easier to. The play nice thing about not piloting. Yeah, the nice thing about Barrier is that it can block his hero power in case we're at one health and we freeze his board. Unlike Rogue, who can SI seven agent. You don't need a dry ice block? Well, we need a 2 3 body. Mm hmm. It's like Ice Barrier doesn't do anything. Yeah, I mean, if we play Barrier this turn, it's kind of just like flipping it over, except 2 3 is more likely to do something this turn because it can threaten. Like, it threatens the 4 2 and the 2 2 right now. Mm -hmm. If he has a buff, he has a buff, and if he wants to trade in, it's fine. Ah, uh, hmm. Yeah. So either we go barrier last turn and then not archaeologist this turn, or the other way around, right? So. Come see, come see. He's thinking a lot for a token druid. Do you usually. Um, beat aggro druids? Um, it's a 50-50, but it's rarely done through the Exodia. 
Oh my god. Yeah, at least this guy yeah. trades. I mean, he's just spent two mana, two attack. Three attack, actually. Right. And luckily we drew this, so that's pretty good, too. That's not too bad. This should keep us out of range of anything. Blizzard's gonna be so good next turn. Yeah. This is really painful, but the thing about druids in general is that they don't have anything bursty besides the patches, and we already accounted for it. We need another blizzard though. In case he has living mana right after you blizzard the sport. Yeah. That's actually good for us. Because now we can account for a um, bit of Tide Hydra. <laughs> no, I will not ask Toast that question. What trade? Ideally, he plays Bitter Tide. If he goes Living Mana, whoo, doggy, we are boned. That's fine. Yeah, it's not. That cool. is a little less that fine, is not but still relatively so fine. fine. I think we um. Would you fireball that? I'd fireball it. Because mm -hmm. if I don't, there's a potential he kills us. If I do, there's almost no way he kills us this turn. So essentially, Fireball is a semi ice block. Because let's say we play ice block and draw, right? And he goes Savage Roar again, or he rolls Wind Fury, then he kills us. And we our Fireball doesn't do much. So I like the Fireball on that, even though it's kind of awkward in terms of curvature. Yeah. Yeah. We'll ping this. I think. Yeah. We're kind of screwed. What? I actually think we're in, in a not too shabby of a position. I think neither of us are getting legend. <laughs> Wait, you don't have Galaka in your list, right? No. Because I don't queue into you. Okay. Um... Galaka would have been good here, too. You know? He has 7 damage. I don't want to give him draw, even though that is really, really possibly sad for. Maybe you AI and just ice block. Oh, I was right. I think he has second sad for, though. No! Top deck the way to kill us! Good thing we put the ice block up. Bobbing you at one feels bad, man. These frost novas. Okay, what do what do we need in order to survive? Second here? ice block. Oh, okay, another ice block. So tome. Uh, do we ice block and then tome, or do we? What can we draw with Coli that will help? What can we get from Cabalus that will help? Cabalus has a few options. Any freeze effect is useless without a follow up. Like a mirror image. We should Cabalus, yeah, I agree. Yeah, wait, how many cards do you have right now? Eight. Interesting. Yeah, Tome first. Okay, now freeze effect can oh, be oh, oh, relevant. Freezing. He's, there's no way he has a charge minion. So if we can hit one of our two frost nova or a blizzard with our coli oracle, we still have a chance. I, or alternatively, if we can remove everything. We can't. Those those crypt lords are super strong. Can we go in on, in on the girls? Okay, one, two. 
That's under the assumption we can hit a freeze effect off Cabal's Tome. Interesting. Maybe it's six mana, right? Mm hmm. Six mana. That would cost two, though. Oh, my gosh, and your quest is being completed soon. I think we won. I think we this won. This is not fair. You're so lucky. I think we won. It's not guaranteed, but I think we won. Because he can't charge. Unless this guy's packing a secret swipe. No, they don't have a swipe. They, they sometimes run Unless silence. Oh, my God. Thanks for the free time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. You win. Oh. oh. We win. Okay, so he, yeah, he goes through. You can't all do three it. Times. Yeah, we're guaranteed to win. Oh, is he gonna do that thing where he doesn't attack again, so we can't play our full combo? <laughs> Is that what he's Easy. going for? Well, I mean, it won't work because we still have enough to kill him. I wonder if that's what he's going to do. Maybe he would have had a chance if he didn't give us a taunt. <laughs> Toast over Patrick confirms. Wow, his RNG is good. No, right. you can just compliment me, right? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You're a quest mage god. Wait, how many stars are you on? Uh, three. Three? Yeah. Two more wins? Yeah. Uh -huh. Easy legend. Uh -huh. Oh, those mirror images and the freezing potion. Exactly, because we're just died to hero power. That's disgusting. Toast, what do you do on your birthday? Do you stream? Yeah, I stream. It's not I have anyone to celebrate it with. Yeah, same. That's what I'm gonna do on my birthday. Too. Feels bad. I was actually telling my chat that streaming is kind of lonely. It's not, with a normal day job, you can you know go to work, you see coworkers, and you can have lunch with them. But when you're a streamer, you just you know you just got yourself in chat. Feels so birthday, we, man. At least we have the chat. Feels birthday. Man. Yeah, it's pretty appropriate. Oh no! Oh, it's Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. She, it's a repeat sniper. Taylor. Wait, that's a sniper? It is. Cause I, I, I'm, <laughs> what I'm, what I'm, what I'm a huge fan of Taylor Swift. So I remember Taylor Swift. Damn it, Taylor! Oh. Ask Taylor to emote you. Uh, do you like Taylor Swift? Once by the way. Um, a couple of her songs. Oh, we should duet. You're on the phone. It's a Go Tuesday night. Going off about something that you. What is it like? Said I don't really know the lyrics. She doesn't yeah. get your humor like I do. I do. I'm in my room. It's a typical Tuesday. You just said night. that. Wait, <laughs> you just I... said that. <laughs> then we miss order because that's the second part. I'm listening to the kind of music she doesn't like. She'll never. Oh no, we played Taylor Swift on Ant's account, so I don't have the she deck tracker. She wears short skirts, I wear sneakers. She's, She's cheer captain, captain, and I'm, and I'm on, on the bleachers. bleachers. Dreaming about the day when you wake up and find that what you're looking for <laughs> has been here the whole time. <gasps> yeah, I love it. We went, um, we uh, had karaoke. Hello there. No, um, Taylor Swift, you. 
You missed out on the karaoke. Oh. We had Korean barbecue and then we went karaoke. Was it good? Oh, wow. Mirror. Yeah. I do not know how to play the mirror. It's pretty uh, brain damaging, I'll give you that. <laughs> Resident Sleeper, boys! It's actually a very unique matchup with a lot of different ways to win. But I'm not gonna say it on stream because I think he's sniping. Okay, yeah, don't tell him how to win. Yeah, mirrors are actually the most challenging. It's very like weird. Any deck mirror. It's definitely one of the weirder matchups for me. <sighs> Whoever draws better wins. No, 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 no. Drawing is a part of it, but it's a very small part. We know you generally can't deal with Doomsayer unless he gets a random glyph card. What do you normally do once you're done streaming? Watch Netflix. Netflix and chill. I go on full like decompression mode. <laughs> does your head hurt after like you stream a lot of Hearthstone? Because mine usually does. It's a lot of thinking. Really, hmm, thinking for sure. We'll go for the singleton <laughs> mill here, of course. Damage is actually really relevant. Ah, mm -hmm. burn to useless card. Pinging every turn. Oh, his hands. Well, Blizzard doesn't even matter in this matchup. Yeah, huh? essentially, we helped him out because that's a really useless card that would have clogged up his hand. All right, All the so that's barrier and you don't hit his barrier, right? Ah, <sighs> probably not. Well, why don't you mill him, Cold Light Oracle? Wait, how many? Yeah, he won't mill. Him? That's not gonna work. So I have a Cabalus, but risk a Cold Light mill. Although it wouldn't be that bad, considering we have a lot of pieces in hand. Mhm. Mm that's Gucci. You wanna cast a spell? I wanna cast Getting rid of his hand now. Yeah. So you can't mill him. So ideally, we play whatever we get off the ball is Tome. Oh my god. I guess it's Tome? No! Okay, this is so bad. This is, this is bad. These are some really, really, uh. Uh, yeah. Chunky cards. Chunky is the word, I agree. Do you? Yeah, yeah I was thinking MP, crossbow, he might MP. mill you. Yeah. Maybe mills is one card and stuff. What, what other cards do you need in your hand right now from your deck? Um... Oh, those are bad cards. Not, not terrible, but... <sighs> We have enough cards that there's no bad mills. One of your viewers just had to, you know, cock block you from Legend. Mm. For the mirror match. <sighs> yeah, it's tough. Everything in our hand is so, like, heavy. But we'll see, we'll see. That was a really good card. That was a pretty good card. Is the sky's post here? Where's the it's a glacial mystery is the chunkiest card. And it works towards the quest. Yeah. What's he at? Two out of six. He's got a long way to go. You guys are the same. Flame strike? Yes, sir. Ooh. Glyph and... No, I think we actually save Glyph here. Oh, novice? No, interesting. Random secrets are also a huge part of uh, who wins this. Are you ever scared of going into fatigue? Hell yeah! 100% scared. That's one of your worst fears here.
<laughs> oh, I, do you have any? Do you think you have any Filipino viewers in your chat? Hmm. Any Filipino oh. viewers chat? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Do you know any Filipinos in real life? Uh, I grew up in Malaysia, so we had a lot of Filipinos there. <sighs> Gosh, you have a full hand. Is it ever Blizzard? Six twelve. Or Glyph first. Maybe. This coal light is pretty good, but I don't think it's worth it. Milling cards is good. He's at three out of six, though. I'm thinking about the mill, but I don't think so. It might seem crazy, chat, but I don't think well, mill might, is hot. You have all of the things you need, right? He probably doesn't. Is he going for it this turn? Oh, thank God. <laughs> Whoever goes in first is like... That's scary, okay. Wait, how many is your... Three out of six. Can you go in now? Two, six. It's extremely risky. Is oh, it? Gosh. Two girls, Molten, Reflection, Tome, Glyph. We even have AIs. Ah, uh, this is tough. Yeah. I understand you want to look good in front of everyone. <laughs> you don't want to lose this. And, we, and, and you want to get Legend. He might actually go in next turn. Okay, that that's pretty scary, playing a secret. You might be scared of that secret. An incredible discovery. You have to go in next turn. We mill one card, but I think it's fine. He's still waiting on something. I think you should go in. <sighs> I think so too. I agree. Do it! You even have a free blizzard. Ooh, Cliff. Those are good, Seek. Those are good things from town. Mana buying for Jabay or Cabal's Tome for Mega Jabait. <laughs> yeah, I think you should play this the Mana Bind. It's also just scary to put up another secret. I mean, he probably knows what you're taking anyways. <laughs> if he's watching. So, you win, right? This means you win.
You wouldn't just AI to get an extra fireball. AI gives him the out of Cole Oracle. I appreciate that. I see. If you can pop me this turn, he wins. He will, right? He's giving up, I think. Although, I don't know, he might be packing Eater of Secrets. You had to pop block. Popping block is not gonna matter at all. Is disguise coach here? Is so that's the thing about this these quest mage matchups is that people don't realize there's so much different ways you can win. They get obsessed with, oh my god, I must pop his block before he pops my block. No, not at all. Not at all. Okay, so he plays Antonidas this turn. He pops your block, and we win. The only way he wins is Eater of Secrets. Uh -huh. Toast, if you pop block, you're guaranteed to win. There was no way for us to pop the block. A and B, popping the block doesn't matter. In fact, there's a world where you don't pop the block so he doesn't play Ice Block. Um, like a random generated Ice Block that he might need to complete his quest. Oh, you can, yeah, you just mill him also. Yeah. This is why we can't draw, because we know he has a second Coli Oracle. By playing one Arcane Intellect, we potentially give him the opportunity to Simulacrum Coli Oracle, Double Oracle for lethal. Oh, this is sweet. Yeah. The Quest Mage matchup I really like. Because there's three different ways you win. The traditional way, run him off Ice Block. The second way, which is um, Fatigue. And the third way, which is my favorite, is to pop him, Quest Pop. Which happens quite often, which is, was what my original plan was with Antonidas Glyph, because that's two fireball potentials. You just told your chat. Yeah, I mean, I'm saying it now because yeah. I think uh, it doesn't matter if Taylor Swift hears it anymore. <laughs> he can queue into you again, though. My hand is full. Woohoo! Why don't you just, uh,. Oh, do what? Oh yeah, that was the way. Oh, ice block. Well, we don't know if he has a, like double cola oracles. Similicrum. Final boss. Yep. Lucky you, legend today. Well, let's not jinx anything, buddy. Do the Q N Q Q. <laughs> That's me, uh, Jinx dodging it, Jinx it, Thatcher. No rogues. No, I'm not legend. I am still ranked too. Uh oh. These are you can win this. These are the God, people but... we have to beat. The ultimate boss. Had to be rogue. I mean, we're just worried about the early aggression. Oh god, three keep! <laughs> I mean, our hand is pretty, um... Straightforward, so we don't have to do too much thinking. That's good. Hey, no one drew. No turn one. Good sign. Probably barrier. I don't want to get fancy with like, oh, maybe I can vape some uh, charge minion. It's probably barrier. Yeah, I like the barrier. His best play would be calling cap. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, these are the steps we have to take to have a chance. AI. Hey, you're going to win. He's shown that he doesn't Wait, have haven't... cards that's playable, so I don't want to call out Oracle and give him something playable. Although the call out Oracle is a body. Arcane yeah, Intellect, I think, is the straightforward play here. It says next turn that's a bit worrisome with Coin Cobalt Scalebane. I 
can't. Oh wow, he drew patches. Yeah, you generally don't want to do that. Captain. No, Edwin. Most likely Edwin, because if he has Captain, he would have played it last turn. And he kept that card, yeah. Two. I don't mind the Doomsayer here, honestly. We don't have any freeze effects, and even if we have freeze effects, by the time we get it, it's weak to Vile Spines. So, sure. we're gonna uh, Babbling Book first, see what we draw. Mm -hmm. I like the Babbling Book. <gasps> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did I show a random enemy mini? Okay, yeah. You can Are you the reading the card? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, I, here's the thing. We can. I was making sure it doesn't hit the freaking face of the enemy. Yeah, it's just enemy minions. Interesting. I had to make sure. I had to double check. So it's either 50 50. Why would you want a 50 50? Because it makes Doomsayer really good if it hits the 6 6. It's a winning play. Uh, okay. <laughs> but I think we play it safe and go ping breath. Because I think Doomsayer can just take 7 down the line. Because if we lose that 50-50, it's so <laughs> devastating. This guy's toast. YOLO. Someone in my chat was like, YOLO toast. You only live once. Is this guy's toast here? Mm. I like using Doom to heal for 7. I think at this point we can afford to draw. Ice Bear will keep us nice and plump in the future. We have to draw more cards because we're out of freeze effects right now. Do we care about giving him cards right now? Perhaps. So it's either Arcane Intellect, Collide, Oracle, that's what I'm thinking. The two body might matter as well. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I like drawing. Do do you? I like drawing. It's like care to take nine damage. Yeah, we don't we don't mind. We, we're gonna play Doomsayer most likely with Colite. We don't mind taking one round of it because we can Blizzard Ice Block next turn. I don't think I want to give him cards though. He might get Cold Blood and put on too much pressure. But at the same time, no, I'm gonna go with Colite. <laughs> Worst case scenario is backstab ball spine. And even yeah, then it's only really nine bad. it's only ten damage this turn. Why well, call that over arcane? Because I can source this apprentice arcane intellect. And also the two two body. He's playing real he played a really slow early game, which makes me think most of his minions are around the five to seven mark. Which means the extra draw wouldn't matter as much, but it gives him more option potential. But yeah, if you play Arcane Intellect there, Chad, I would not mind it. Because you limit his possibilities as well. So, I don't think there was a bad thing. I think you definitely need to draw because you have two Frost Nova and one Blizzard left. And you for sure need them in your hand before they pop you. Because once they pop you, they're dead cards. <laughs> well, most... There's a good chance we also don't Blizzard next turn, depending on what we get. How do you have to think about Backstab Valspine? Come on, bro. <laughs> I know, that's like, you roped you, just to do that. Okay. Let's say he Leroy Cold Bloods. That's 16, 19. We won't die. Because we don't have any freeze effect, I'm so scared. To use yeah. this freeze, and then our barrier is dead. So I'm thinking we actually just glyph. And see if we can find a way not to um, use the blizzard this turn. Well, we're committed to not using the blizzard, but I think it's fine. What do you think? You can always put up the ice block. Ice barrier. If you decide to glyph this. Oh, yeah, sorry, the ice barrier if you decide to glyph this Ooh, turn. Ooh, mama. Ooh, Nova. The question is do we play it now then? Uh, you can only be so good. Okay, let's say we. What's his most damaging thing? Haha, <laughs> cold blood, cold blood. Oh, that would be devastating. Would you cold light Oracle and Nova here? I think so, yeah. Because 
because we shouldn't get greedy with our freezes anymore. We have so much. Yeah. Because once like you... you have two freezes. Yeah, exactly. Because the worst situation is you have all three freezes and you're at one health because you let them have the potential to double cold blood with double haha. <laughs> so funny how you call it haha. <laughs> <laughs> So much easier, haha. -ha. Yeah. Yeah, next turn you can even go Blizzard, Ice Barrier. Barrier does not matter as much, and we want to play Babbling specifically because um, Simulacrum is a, is a possibility here. Yeah, that makes sense. We don't have block set up, so I'm actually a bit freaked out about potentially just dying. <laughs> Easy legend. Although you just have you you haven't even lost a game. Yeah. What face? The best thing about this is that our Blizzard will actually clear the board, which means we might potentially just not have to um, risk anything. Worst case scenario is bone bear. <gasps> Okay, I would bone bear the guy with way more health and attack, but... Oh, wow. Wait, I'm not... Blizzard yeah, doom. we're for sure blizzarding. I'm not sure about the doom. When would you use doom? Uh, the thing about doom is it forces out a vowel spine, but... It gives Vile Spines now. To be fair, he did use one Vile Spine already, right? Uh, You're right. Thought about Doom. If he doesn't have Vile Spine, we can win. Yeah. The reason why I don't love Doom is that if he does have Vile Spine, essentially we wasted two mana. Seen one Vile Spine? Okay. If he cold bloods it, it's fine. This is completely fine. This is so much like burst damage he has to waste. I don't think he can burst us through however much he might do. Okay, this is a lot of damage. Oh, thank God. Okay. So if we ping barrier, that's 12. Okay, how much damage is that? 12, 14, 16, 17. Plus Leroy. Maybe. We can barrier, counterspell, ping block, which denies his cold blood. Or we can go for the draw and try and hit Frost Nova this turn. No, I like putting up the secrets, ping. Wait. Block, barrier, ping. And you could even AI. Then that means you're not counterspelling this turn. Would you AI over CS? Hmm. Good call. The, the reason why CS is a consideration for me was Cold Blood and Shadow Step on Leroy. But. The high roll possibility of Frost Nova was very tantalizing, and luckily for us, we hit it. Oh no, he's gonna grip! <laughs> he's gonna what? He's gonna grip! He's gonna get death grip and grip us! That's right, he's gonna grip us! <laughs> okay, never mind. Ooh, wait, I mean, he can still grip <laughs> us. But... Frost Nova's definitely played. We're playing Archaeologist first. And then we'll play Novice here. To try and draw Antonidas so he doesn't grip it. Okay, at least we can counter spell here and potentially deny the grippage. Yeah. Not the grip. I... Not the grip, Uncle. He has so such a good grip option. He probably doesn't know that though. He's hovering over his death knight card. Ooh, that's fine. Hit me in the face all you want. <laughs> The nice thing about this is if we RNG into a Kabbalah's Tome Ice Spirit, we can now play it too. Seems good, seems good. 
Mm, I mean, we're definitely no, like, blocking just... this turn, right? I mean, which means we have enough mana left over to Cabalist. Yep, Tome. Wow. <laughs> no. It's good. I mean, it's disgusting how good it is. <laughs> good, yeah. I thought you were you didn't like it. That's really good. Is it oh. insane to wait, wait, wait. want to pyroblast his sweet face? We definitely already yeah. have completion. You need cheap spells, right? There, there's a world where he grips. You're right. You're right. You're right. I don't know. You're the better player at this deck, so I thought we needed cheap spells for the girls. Yeah, I thought about yeah. pyroblast. But I think it's ultimately wrong. The only thing we're worried about is just grip. Five out of six. As long as he doesn't roll the grip here, I think we're fine. We need Antonidas. Oh, wait, we're gonna get Antonidas. You have you have AI. It's not guaranteed because he can grip this turn, or he can grip the following turn. And we get Antonidas. He doesn't have grip. Okay, calm down. You have to. Uh, when you play Quest Mage, you consider like every worst case scenario. Ooh. You would have played it, you know? You had it. There we go. Statistically, are we guaranteed? You win now, right? I don't think so. Yeah. You go, girl. Wait. We're not three. guaranteed to get the girl. Girl. Though. You have three girls. Interesting. This is lethal? Isn't it? Like, I... Five mana. My brain is being girls. fried right now, Rage. What did Rage say? That this is lethal. Yeah, let's go girls! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm scared. Like I, I feel like it's right, but you should know. Also, math. This was just building suspense, guys. Ah, <sighs> we did it. Wow, you haven't lost the game. You know? You require my assistance. Aha. 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 You need a you need some Aha. you need some music toast. Where's your winning? No, you can you can do some Legend. uh you know a cappella. Oh uh -huh. Hey, lights out.